Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor. And the year is almost over. Can you believe it? I can't, but it is. So now it's time to talk about some of the dumb things I'm going to be doing on my dumb channel in 2023. Pretty exciting stuff. Are you ready, Roger? Roger's already in the holiday spirit, ready for the new year to roll around. So yeah, let's talk about some of the dopey things I'll be doing on my channel next year. Last year, I made a bunch of reading plans that I did not do. I, I did not fulfill my reading plans last year. A bunch of books have remained unread that I was planning on reading, but this year, well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, one thing I do know this year is that I'm going to have to read more books than I read last year. I wrote down what I read, what I read last year, but I don't see the paper where I wrote it down on, and now I can't remember. I think it was like 60-something books. I read 60-something books last year, which I got to improve. I've got to read more books than that in 23 because I am on the 500 book challenge, which will be continuing on through all of 2023 and 24 and probably 25. If not longer than that, we will see. But it is going to give me a chance, the 500 book challenge, which of course, is the challenge where I'm reading 500 books I already own before I will buy any new ones. But it'll give me the chance to read a bunch of books that have been hanging around forever, like this one. This is uh, Thomas Ligotti, Songs of a Dead Dreamer, and Grim Scribe. This is just one of the thousands of books that I have that I need to read. This one, everybody's told me how much I'd like it, if I would only read it, and I did buy it years ago. Before I ever had a channel, I bought this book and just haven't read it yet. So this is one of the 500. I'll read that. So what else is going to be going on in 2023? I have many notes, which are a mess. So let me try to get through my badly written plans. Okay, so first thing is I am, of course, continuing with the Edgar Rice Burroughs Deep Dive, where I'm reading all of the books written by Edgar Rice Burroughs in more or less the order that they were written. More or less. There are some exceptions. And this one is, I think, the next one I have to read. Yeah, this is the next one I have to read. Uh, the Warlord of Mars, the third book in the Mars series. So this is just going to be going... For the early part of 23, I'm reading one of these, then something else, and then one of these. So yeah, the Edgar Rice Burroughs Deep Dive will be continuing. This has actually been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed revisiting Edgar Rice Burroughs and all of these books, many of which I haven't read for decades. So that's been fun. Also... I'm going to be continuing with the Vintage Science Fiction Project in my attempt to read all of the Vintage Science Fiction books that I own before I die. This is a more realistic prospect now that I'm not allowing Roger over here to buy any new ones. So no new... Well, they're not new, they're all old, but no new to me copies are showing up here at the manor. The vintage science fiction was showing up with alarming regularity for a long time, and I already had a ton of it. I've got hundreds and hundreds of vintage science fiction books to read, and I'm attempting to read them all before I die. And this is... is this the next one? This is the next one I'm going to read. No, it's not. It's... I'm going to be reading this soon. Adventures on Other Planets. Exciting stuff. Okay, so vintage science fiction is continuing. Now, the other day, I was watching Richardson Reads, a fantastic booktube channel that you should all watch. And Richardson Reads 
mentioned a couple things. First of all, on his channel, Hornblower 2023, where he's going to be reading all of the Horatio Hornblower books. I have them all in beat up old paperbacks. And I also have this. This is the Hornblower Companion by C.S. Forrester. So basically, it's just reading a Hornblower book, I think, once a month. I think, I think that's what it is. One Hornblower book a month. And I've been intending to read the Hornblower books forever. Uh, the Hornblower books were my stepfather's favorite set of books, and he read them over and over and over again. And I have always intended to read them, and I have the very copies that he read over and over again because I inherited them, including this Hornblower Companion. So this will give me the perfect opportunity to read those. So I'm going to be joining along with Richardson Reads with the Hornblower 2023. I actually have a lot of plants. But another thing he's doing is he's reading the Sackett series from Louis L'Amour. Now, I don't have all the Sackett books. I have, the Sackett books I do have are in this old book club set, and Louis L'Amour was still alive. What? What? Why are you causing trouble? I'm trying to Are you going to be good? Or are you going to be causing trouble all throughout the next year? She wants to bark at something. There's nobody, there's nothing to growl and bark at, okay? Be good. Be good, little child. Go and be good for crying out loud. Where was I? Oh, yes. I was talking about the Sackett, so I don't have all the Sackett books. Because, like I said, when this set was released, this four-volume book club edition, Louis L'Amour was still alive, and he was still writing Sackett books. So there are a couple of them that are not in this set. Uh, the one that stands out to my mind is Jubal Sackett, which I remember being a really good book. But all the Sackett books I do have, I'll be reading this year. Or starting to read them. I, who knows? Who knows what I'll actually get through. But I have them all, so I'm going to try to read all the Sackett books. We'll see. What else is going on this year? So there are some other booktube events. There is Historathon 2023. Historathon, where you're reading history. And there are different... This isn't a monthly thing. At least it doesn't have to be, I don't think. I'll have to check. I'll have to check the schedule for Historathon. But there are different historical periods, and during that period, you choose a book to read that takes place in that period, and they're pretty long chunks of time, I believe. And I don't even know who all of the hosts are. I'm going to have to check them all out. But Vin at Revenant Reads, I think, came up with the Historathon. I believe so. If I'm wrong, let me know. But so I'm going to be taking part in that. That will be fun. And then, of course, there is February Fantasy Stories. I will pro I'm, I'm not sure I'll be doing February Fantasy Stories this year. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do it. I think, I think probably. I probably will do it. That's a reading event created by the Bookish Bryants. They have all the awesome reading events, including Horror Mayhem in May. Horror Mayhem, which I had a great time with last year, so I definitely want to take part in Horror Mayhem. Also, by the Bookish Bryants. And then, the greatest, well, it's not the greatest booktube event, but it's pretty cool if I do say so myself, which would be June on the Range. Yes, June on the Range is returning in 23. June on the Range, a celebration of Western fiction, where we all get to read Western books, Westerns. So yeah, June on the Range did a lot better last year than I figured that it would. I was kind of surprised at the reception to June on the Range. So yeah, June on the Range returns in 2023. That is a booktube event that I actually invented. How about that? Then 
the reading event that is the greatest reading event that's ever been created, which is, of course, Garbogist. Garbogist. I've already got some Garbogist books lined up. Garbogist, the celebration of trashy books, books that society has decided are trash, but are usually entertaining and tons of fun. So, Garbogist, created by Criminali, the greatest reading event ever created, is returning this year. Well, it's still next year. Next year. What else? Uh, oh, yeah. The next big old fantasy series I'm going to be attempting, and I will be attempting this in 23. It's not Malazan. That's probably going to be in 24, actually. But it is going to be The Five Warrior Angels by Brian Lee Durfee. I'm going to be tackling this trilogy at some point this year. So finally getting around to this trilogy. I tried to listen to it on audiobook, but I suck with audiobooks, even though the audio audiobook was pretty great. I was like, man, I want to read this because I figured I'd get more out of it. So I'm going to read the entire saga. This is the last book, which was just released. The Lonesome Crown. This completes the trilogy. It's going to be awesome. And of course, this was only half finished in 22. So part two of Varney the Vampire awaits. Part two of Varney. So that's going to be fun. I've been missing my pal Varney. I was uh, I was keeping up with Varney for a long time, and then I took a Varney break. And now it's almost time to pick Varney back up. So that's most of the things that I could think of. I've got stuff sitting all over here. Okay, I did forget a couple things. <laughs> I knew I would. I forgot Stephen King. I'm still going to be doing the Read Every Book by Stephen King. I didn't do as well in 22 as I was hoping. I was hoping to read all of the books from the 1980s, and I only read up until this one. Actually, a little past this one, because I read Christine out of order. But I'm hoping to at least get through the 80s in 23 with Stephen King. So, reading every book by Stephen King, that is still happening. Also, more importantly... Books by Booktubers. I'm going to continue to read books by Booktubers. This is a book by Carol Wainwright. But it's not really Carol Wainwright. It's really The Falcon. Carol Wainwright is a pseudonym for The Falcon, and The Falcon is his real name. I put the book up by uh, Dracula because Dracula is The Falcon's very favorite book. He loves it. He loves that book. So, yeah, I'm going to continue to read books by Booktubers. This one... Uh, I hope to read in January, so I will tell you all about the Falcon's book. And yeah, that's what I forgot here. There is one more thing, and that is going to be my Impossible Marvel Project. The Impossible Marvel Project. So, I decided that I haven't been reading enough comic books. And I was going to do the read every issue of the X-Men challenge, but then the newer issues of the X-Men tend to suck. So I bailed on that. So I decided I needed another impossible challenge. And so I came up with a challenge that is literally impossible. And that is to read Marvel comics from, well, my favorite time of Marvel comics, which spans the length of the original Fantastic Four series. The original Fantastic Four series ended in 1996 with issue 416. 416 was the last issue of the original Fantastic Four series and then Marvel uh, shipped off the Fantastic Four to some other creators outside of Marvel. They basically sold out for a while and Heroes Reborn happened and it was lame and then the Fantastic Four came back and it was actually pretty good. But the Impossible Marvel Project is a comic book project where I read as much as I can from the era or from the period uh, that takes place 
between Fantastic Four issue number one and Fantastic Four issue number 416. So every Marvel comic that was published between that time, between the time of the first issue of the Fantastic Four, which basically started off the Marvel age of comics, and the last issue of the original series, which ended in 1996. That's a lot of comics. And it's impossible to read them all, but I'm going to read as many of them as I can before I die. Unlike the Vintage Science Fiction Project, I don't think I'll be able to read them all before I croak. But I'm going to read as many as I can. And I'm going to be keeping track of all the ones that I read. It's going to be a whole thing. I haven't talked about it that much, even though I actually already started it a while ago. Because, you know... People can only handle so much comic book talk on this channel because it puts most people to sleep. And But I figure, you know, it's it should be cool. So that's 60s, 70s, 80s, and a lot of the 90s in Marvel. And, you know, they had a ton of great comics. There were a few bad comics, but... Yeah, they were a few bad comics, but it probably doesn't get much worse than... I forgot about some of those super specials. Well, it's not going to get much worse. Why, Marvel? Why? Well, hopefully I'll die before I get to this one. I'll save that for last. But, yeah, that's another thing I'm going to be doing, and I'll talk more about that later for anybody who's interested, which is probably about 10% of my viewers, <laughs> to be honest. But, yeah, th those are just some of my thrilling plans some of my thrilling plans for next year. So yeah, I, th and I have more plans than that and I just can't think of them at the moment and I didn't think to write them down. But there you go. Do you have anything to add, Roger? Still sulking over there because you can't buy any new books until I read 500 books. We'll see how that goes. Okay, guys, I will catch you next time.